we're five days away from our second trip to Mexico to explore this other town that we've been wanting to check out for a while. However, in the last couple of days, I've been feeling very low energy and kind of disappointed. What is going on? So yes, we are about to take our second trip and that is wonderful. However, I feel that for a while I was feeling very energetic, very interested about this trip and I was lining up all these different things about the trip, planning all the details, trusting the process and everything seemed to be flowing, everything seemed to be just going in the direction that should have been going and then suddenly a few days ago I just started feeling kind of depleted. In a way I was feeling this deep disappointment and I didn't know why. It's as though I was just feeling sad about something that I didn't even know what it was. I didn't know if what I was doing was the right thing. I started doubting myself. I didn't know if this new path that I am taking where I left my job where I had to leave my job, but I, I decided not to look for another job and just focus my energy in finding our new place to live and sort of redoing our life in a way that we can create this new environment for our children and for our family to live more cooperatively. And it, it was all going well. And for the most part, I feel very happy about how things are progressing even though it may not seem like I've, I've done a lot of changes but um, just the fact that we are about to go on a different trip was really exciting because that to me means that we are making progress that we are focused on what we want to do and that I'm putting my energy where I said I was going to put my energy so then um, I, I didn't understand why I was feeling this disappointment it was really disappointment what i was feeling and i i started thinking about it the other night and i realized that um a few months ago we took our trip to Asheville, which is another place that we were considering and i had contacted a couple who are building this um these small sustainable communities and they're also practicing practicing sociocracy so we were going to meet up and I was going to do an interview with them and then suddenly within a couple of days of the trip they had to cancel and um, so we still went as I mentioned in another in a couple of other videos and we just sort of explored the town do a, I, we did a surface level exploration but we didn't really got the chance to talk to people to really get a sense of what it would be to live in the community from the eyes and the stories of other people who live there and who've made a living uh, in this kind of way in a more cooperative way so that was one thing also uh, as I said at the beginning of the video this is our second trip to Mexico last year we went to Mexico and we visited my family in my hometown and after that we flew to uh, Guanajuato and was well, specifically to San Miguel de Allende because it was a town that had also been calling me from the moment my son was born so we went we didn't have any plans we just kind of wanted to get a feeling for how it, it was to be there so we explore the, the downtown area, the very touristy area, but we really kind of wanted to see um, other places outside of this, the, this, the center of the town because ultimately we want to have land, we want to be able to grow some of our food and also have some land to explore with uh, permaculture and being in close proximity with others who want to live in a similar way so um you know that wasn't going to happen in the center of the city but we didn't have any context we really didn't know what to to do or where to, where to go 
and then on top of that my son got sick so we spent like a, a day and a half of the four days that we had there just kind of caring for our ill child so we left and I came back to the US a little disappointed feeling that I had not seen what I wanted or that I didn't get that feeling of yes this is the place or that we had found the land and kind of see the possibility of of uh, growing up and setting roots in that place so you know thinking about why I'm feeling this way I think that in a way I I am I was feeling uh, that disappointment in anticipation for something not going well. And I think that it has to do with um, doubting that I can make connections with others, that others are going to find the time to meet with me, that I am worth their time, because that's how I felt for a long time not just you know in during this new path that i've taken but during my career it's a fear and a doubt that i've had about myself of my self-worth of whether others are gonna find um meeting with me important and of course you go through life and you experience things that make you fear and then you you extrapolate and you think that because that happened to you once or twice or three times or ten times that it's gonna keep happening and as long as you hold that feeling uh it could happen of course <laughs> and it can happen even if you don't think about it i i think but um but what it's not cool is that i am anticipating something's gonna go wrong i'm disappointed and shameful about something that hasn't even occurred yet i am disappointed about something that I may not achieve during this trip. So I think that that's what's keeping me keeping me down and I just wanted to share it because um, as I've said before, you know, I had originally thought about doing uh, this YouTube channel and documenting kind of like this process of us exploring places and finding new ways of living but it's turned out to be also a lot of about my internal process as I uh, shift gears into a new direction and what that means in terms of facing my own barriers, my own self-doubts, my own fears, uh, because you do have to break a lot of patterns. You do have to consider what's, what mental patterns might be stopping you from achieving something that you really want to do. And I've really taken some steps and I've really worked, I have done a lot of inner work to face those challenges that, um, that come in my way, you know, as obstacles, again, as fears and doubts, and that's good. But um, again, you know, I have found that more than just sharing what this process is all about in terms of the places that we that we go to or the people or the ideas it's also about the process that i have to undergo internally so um this is another thing that i have discovered about myself you know when trying this new thing going to a new place to meet new people to talk about their experiences and then just facing the reality of my long-held beliefs and fears about myself. Feeling limited, feeling like I'm not good enough, that I'm not worth someone else's time. Why would they bother meeting with me that I, I have nothing good to offer to them? So those were all things that were just like punching me on my face and I didn't know what they were until I started actually writing about it and, and then it, con it then it all kind of became clear to me. So um, now that I am aware of what it is that's keeping me down, I am just going to take some time to honor those feelings, to honor that part of me that's been hurt and also take responsibility, right? Because even if others have done things to me or have doubt what I'm capable of doing or not doing, uh, it's ultimately 
ultimately up to me to believe that or not believe that or to continue to carry that um, that fear that self-doubt so I am going to honor those feelings I'm going to shed light on them and just integrate them and thank the circumstances for showing that to me because uh, it's another layer that I get to, to see and to peel to make me move into, into that direction that I want to go. And I just wanted to share that um, again because it's sort of, it is part of the process and also just to share that we are five days away from taking our second trip. And uh, it should be an exciting trip. I'm going to work on these uh, beliefs. I'm going to love them and hug them and tell them, thank you. I don't need you anymore. You need to step aside because I have work to do and you are not serving me anymore. So with that, I just want to uh, invite you to join my channel if you're new to this. Uh, if you like the video, uh, watch other videos or click like and I will be making more videos about this trip. So stay tuned and stay connected.